Hi, it's Rick and Patty from the KORD Morning Show. Thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. And, of course, you can always catch us anywhere and everywhere with our KORD mobile app. It's free for you in the App Store as well in Google Play. One for New Country, 1027 KORD. Got Rick, you got Patty. Good morning. 62 degrees, cloudy skies. Welcome to your Wednesday. Ready to take on the day. I know around the corner starting Monday we'll give you a chance with the cash count. 30, Is that $30,000? $30,000. I heard some come, things. I was thinking about what you could do with it, and uh, I was talking about it yesterday. Yeah. Um, so to paint my deck, that's $5,000. To oh. paint my house, that'd be probably another f- uh, five. There's Can you put th- a hot tub on that? Uh, you probably could. Okay. So th- uh, what was that cost? Oh, five thousand dollars <laughs> there. So I mean, I I could I could get through thirty thousand pretty quick. What I know. You? Same here. Well, same here. <laughs> I'm going traveling. I don't know about you. You know, but... I think if I did, yeah, like you've always wanted to go uh, 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 to. I'm going to Scotland. Scotland. That's right. So yeah, that would be a nice trip. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. That would be the trip of a lifetime. Yeah. Um, and we want you to win this. So it's going to come down here on Monday, and we'll have your first code about 820 and uh, be ready to play along. All you have to do is download the KORD mobile app. So we want you to win this money, and people do win. And, again, go download that KORD mobile app. Now, while you're doing that, let's get the day started. Can we're, we? We're going to work on some Facebook fun. We're going to work on some Nashville news. And we'll have tickets for the Central Washington State Fair at 720 this morning. So up and at them, rise and shine. Grab a cup of coffee, dig in. Let's get going. 1027 KORD. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord mobile app and send us an app chat message. Or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027-KORD. Hey there, I'm Dave, the official hype man for the cash cow. She wants me to tell you that you can win cash up to $30,000 starting Monday. Get more info on our app. Bradley Gilbert bottoms up, number one for New Country. It's 1027 KORD. It's Rick and Fatty. Good morning, 622. Always good to be with you right now. 65 degrees, cloudy skies as we tackle the day together. Uh, there was a presidential debate last night. We won't talk about that because that's not what we do. But uh, um, all you have to do is open up your social media, <laughs> and that's all you see. Um, and uh, the memes, the memes uh, are hilarious yeah, over you oh, know yeah, certain so, things. You know, and yeah, the, the memes are there. It's yeah, you know, um, I you know, I just uh, I don't know what to say about it. I, just I don't know. know. Everybody... I just know what I just know what happened. I watched it last night. I think my wife watched it. My step, everybody watched it. So I did not. Uh, uh, yeah, because you were. Getting I mean, your hair I'm done. not everybody. <laughs> you but your, I, I had your, appointments going on got, last you night. You got your hair done and so, all that. May, that may yeah. have been the great great place to be, Patty. Because you know, it's just a presidential debate. You know, us growing up. I mean, do you realize that presidential presidential debates really did not come until the TV era? Do you realize that it wasn't so when you're thinking about oh we've had oh, it was Nixon in uh, in uh, Kennedy. Kennedy yes that was it that was the start of the presidential debates and there was actual years since then where there just was none like it wasn't you know so it's now become a regular thing now me growing up of course I remember the famous uh, Reagan line with the uh, Mondale raise like well there you got go everybody laughing there you go again you know so to me that was always my favorite line uh, as a kid growing up now I have to say of all the presidential debates you know. Um, up until recently, I really hadn't watched that many of them, if that makes sense. Yeah, I voted for who I voted for, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. but I, but it's co- become quite, you know, the clown show. You know what I'm saying? Like the entertainment. No, the, the entertainment value has gone yeah, through the roof. And then yeah. I think the combination of the social media has compiled all of the, the you know. Well, the, I watched it, you know, yeah. you, you couldn't not. Oh, you can't. See, it's like a train wreck. You know, <laughs> you're like. Huh. You're like, what's going on here? You know, it's like it's like rubbernecking. You're you, you're you're rubbernecking. Hey, what's going on over here? You know. So I mean, again, it's crazy that we become such a society where it's about entertainment. Well, you know, and uh, I, the you show. know, again, so. watch. I I was watching things on social media, yeah. so I knew. Like okay, <laughs> all right, but I am gonna have to watch. Yeah, I, I, when I get home. I, I, I just, I'm one of those people. Okay, just roll up my windows and keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna work on some Facebook fun coming up in just a little bit. And uh, uh, today, very somber day. It is 9/11, and uh, never forget. I remember, remember exactly where you were. I was at. I had just started uh, at in Yakima at a radio station uh, many years ago. And we thought when it happened, we thought that 
we couldn't believe it, number one. And we right, thought, did you think pilot error? We like, did. What, what's going no, on? No, we honestly what, what, thought. How does that happen? No, we thought, yeah, oh gosh, a plane lost, you know, whatever I happened. Know, and then when the second hit. When the second like, hit, we oh, went, oh, we knew. Yeah, and yeah. I couldn't do the I couldn't do the show that day. Couldn't do the show. Thank goodness we immediately went to news coverage from our news talk radio station. We potted that up, and that was what we did. Because I didn't have the words. And, and anybody who knows me knows I have lots of words. I had none. No. No. I know. I had none. I was such in shock from that. Like, what? No. We I, didn't know. I was in Pensacola, Florida, oddly enough, working yeah. as uh, a news reporter on a morning show, but, you know, covering news. I forgot which radio station I was on for yeah. a minute. Like, he goes, uh, my, my partner at the time, he's like, uh, you just said your old station. And I'm like, well, yeah, because you're okay. distracted. I, well, it was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, but you're was, distracted. The phones you go, were going yeah. In, yeah, insane. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It's such a scary time. It was. I, mean, I was. I think I was scared. I think I was. I think I was terrified. I, and there's very few moments in my career where I can exactly go. I know uh, OJ being one of them. Yeah. The OJ yeah. being on the air there. The verdict. And yeah. and then and then the Twin Towers. I think that's it. Of the two, like wow, that happened. You know. Well, I just remember too. You know, uh, growing up because everybody remembered where they were when Kennedy was shot. Oh. Right. You know, now we that were, was before my time. I wasn't born. But I remember but yeah, right. hearing about it yes. all the time. Yeah. And yeah. Can you imagine that? Like the Walter no. Cronkite. I've seen the no. newsreel of the Walter yeah. Cronkite where he takes his glasses off and yeah. does the time and all that. Well, there are some events going on today, uh, especially in Kennewick. Remembrance. Yep. Yeah. It, so hopefully you get a chance to go. And again, uh, we've never forgotten. We, we will always remember no matter what. And uh, there's going to be some articles up on our website, on our app. Make mm -hmm. sure you check that out. And we really encourage you uh, to go up today to, to uh, Kennewick uh, up there on 395. And remember there as well. So I couldn't get through the day without doing at least a, a little remember, of course. A remembrance there for you. Music on the way. I've got the Eli Young Band coming up next. It's 1027 KORD. You're waking up with the Chord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. 639, number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. You got Rick, you got Patty. What is going on in Nashville? Hardy has had to postpone some uh, his show this week in Starkville, Mississippi, because that area is in the path of tropical storm Francine, which could, they say, escalate into a Category 2 hurricane later this week. Hardy said that we're worried about the rain and wind, so we're making this call for everyone's safety. His tour stop is now set for Friday, September 13th. Friday the 13th. Uh, the Tennessean says that Darius Rucker recently pleaded no contest to drug possession. He received probation and had some other charges dropped. He was originally pulled over for an expired license plate and was found to be with marijuana and some pills in his vehicle. All right, People's Choice has announced the star-studded lineup for its second annual Country Music Awards show. The fan-voted event Happens at the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville on September 26th. It'll be Miranda Lambert, Parker McCollum, Kelsey Ballerini, and Keith Urban taking the stage. And they'll be joined by Kane Brown, Lady A, and many others. The People's Choice Country Awards airing live on NBC as well as Peacock for your networks. And finally, Mitchell Tenpenny is dropping a new album this month, the third will be released on September 20th. Mitchell Tenpenny launches his new headlining tour this week. Woke Up in a Dream starts on Thursday in Sin City, Las Vegas. Tickets are on sale. And those are your trending headlines. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. Hey there, I'm Dave, the official hype man for the cash cow. She wants me to tell you that you can win cash up to $30,000 starting Monday. Get more info on our app. And last night, Lonely 651, number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. You got Rick, you got Patty, always good to be with you. Uh, 65 degrees for you. Anywhere, everywhere on the KORD mobile app. Also, uh, we'll be talking other people's problems in a situation. We've got a frustrated mom coming up in just a little bit with stepmom. And it kind of ties into, I know this was just announced yesterday, uh, the Dave Grohl thing with Foo Fighters. Um, and we were just talking you might want to update people on that. Well, um, apparently, apparently mm. Dave Grohl went outside of his marriage, and now there is a daughter born, and the, now he's, you know, the ramification. He's going to be a responsible father and be in that child's life. Right. 
But but a lot of people were kind of disappointed. Not that you know, not that you know him personally, but a lot of people um, admired Dave Grohl and said, "Oh, I can't believe you know that he's human." Basically, he's human. So uh, our conversation with other people's problems is uh, as a stepmom and a new mom, and we got a child. And uh, and what's that line when um, when you are a step parent? What is the line? And we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. I know. Okay. It's, I know. It sounds like I'm vague booking. Sounds like I'm vague booking, but you got to go to Facebook and check out the situation, and we will talk about it. Of course, it I'll go there. <laughs> it's, Rick and Patty are vague booking again. Stop it. So, uh, of course, uh, interesting enough, Patty posted yesterday um, resumes, AI is taking over everywhere. And you, uh, so, yeah. interestingly enough, as I was at the um, Tri Cities, uh, um, um, the pet, the pet thing that you were a part of. With oh yeah, pet pop. overpopulation yeah, the, the prevention, the Tri Cities. Yeah. Uh, animal shelter, uh, talking with friends there if, as far as, you know, do you use AI? And oddly enough, a lot of people I know use AI. Yeah, my wife nonstop. I mean, at her work, you know, she, yeah, she, ta- she talked about it. Well, I like- was talking <laughs> yesterday uh, with some other people, too, because I haven't perfected it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to be very careful. For me, personally, when I use AI, I'm like, is that even true? Yeah, no, I... I mean, there are some things... In- there's so much being done with AI, it's insane. Like, like things I never even think about, you know? But, so, I mean, but yeah. you have to... Re- I mean, is it plagiarism sometimes? You know what I mean? If you use AI, do you have to tell somebody about it? And then what it... It is... It is pretty remarkable what it can do, but is it truly in your own words? But it's also... So the thing is, you know, would you trust AI to craft a resume <laughs> for you? <laughs> Oh, I, I'm, yeah, I don't know about almost ha- almost yeah. half of hiring managers in Washington say it automatically goes in the trash. Wow. They they they, they would rather have you know a resume with mistakes or whatever, but in your own words. And oh yeah, with the cover letter where you say you know oh yeah. yeah. So it could be a little risky choice for you. Might so, be. So, well, Patty posted about it. AI generated resumes. Does it work? Does it not work? Uh, would you it, trust it? Yeah. Have you used it? Yeah. If you're on the job and you've used it, let us know. Did you get a job using an AI you know, generated one? We want to know. App chat us. Check out the article now. Posted now for you on the station mobile app. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. I'm number one for New Country. It's 1027 KORD. You got Ricky, got Patty. Good morning. 709, 65 degrees for you. And yeah, those are some dark clouds in the sky later for some scattered showers. We'll see if that happens. I heard Stacey Lee talking about yeah. snow in the upper oh, elevations. Geez, I course, did. I know. Well, I you know. know. <laughs> I remember years ago living in Montana and I had to go back and get my stuff. And in the past, in May, it was snowing. I'm like, in May, I was like, it's sn- you're going Are through you a pass. Yeah, me? I'm in a pass. I'm I like, don't know. And I and as I'm driving through this Montana pass, I'm like, this is why I left the state. Because <laughs> it was I get it. Snow in I May. I totally get it. Snow in May. I totally get it. All right, Valerie's got a situation going on here in Richland. What is going on with Valerie? Rick and Patty, I have a six year old son and am not with his father anymore. The father is engaged to be remarried. My son will still live with me, but we have a good relationship. And and he'll be spending time with them. I just discovered that he bought one of those motherhood pendants as an engagement gift for his fiance. It has her photo on one side and my uh, my son's on the other. And she's showing it off on Instagram as if, you know, she's the boy's mom. That's my son, not hers. So father, uh, the father told me, relax. We want to show him that she loves him and sees him as part of her family. We just want him to feel like he has two mothers. That doesn't work. <laughs> yes, the other woman is good with my son, but wearing a motherhood pendant and positioning as a second mother, that's overstepping her bounds, right? <sighs> Valerie in West yeah. Richland. It's Ooh. it's such a hard sp- uh, it's such a hard place to be and I can actually relate to you, Valerie. Sadly, when my first wife and I got a divorce, um and my and my first wife uh remarried. Yeah, um, new new dad or had a new, had a, well, stepfather. Yeah, a stepfather right? and, I mean, and one of my biggest fears um as a dad is and every parent I don't care what anybody says every parent has this is that they'll like the other parent better if that made sense mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know not to say this is going on in this situation um but then I realized uh, and my son was 12 years old so he was a lot this kid's six my son was at least 12 so my my son didn't you know it's a new guy coming into his life well anyway I'm working in California I get a call from my ex-wife and she's like hey you need to talk to your son 
And I said, well, what did he do? Well, he spit in Marty's face. Well, inside, internally, I laughed and giggled because I'm like, yeah, that guy's never going to replace me as dad. I know. You know, yeah. but then, of course, I had to get on the phone with my you son. Had to, well, uh, hey, Logan, what are you doing? Yeah. You know better than that. Yeah. Be respectful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, but that is a fear of any parent. So this is a nat, Valerie, this is a natural thing. Like, you're not, you're not the mom. Now, I don't think she means it that way. So I, I would just, you know, um, and he's six. So he's six years old. And when I f- married my, my second wife, Megan, uh, my stepson was five. And Kyron came to me and goes, hey, what do you want me to call you? Yeah. And I said, yeah. he goes, do I call you dad? Do I call you Rick? I said, what do you want to call me? He goes, well, I want to call you Rick. That was it. Yeah. You know, I said, yeah. then I'm Rick, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. because he has a parent. Mm-hmm. He has his. Yeah, you're not there to I'm take not. over. I, I've not, never, I have know. never once, never once, you know, I've been there to help him, guide yeah. him, talk to him yeah. if he needed it. Yeah. But I, but he's got a mom. He's got a dad. Yes. So, but this is a picture in a pendant. I think we're overblowing this out a little bit, Valerie. Mm-hmm. I understand mm-hmm. you're hurt, you know, and I would be that same parent like, hey, he's my kid. You know, because I had to deal with Marty on some in- situations and I had to step in and go tell my ex-wife, hey, he's my son, mm-hmm. not Marty's. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I told, and I had to make Marty back it down a couple times in that relationship. Like, you back it down, you know, because you're not the dad. You don't make that. And, yeah, and, and, yeah. Our, and um, our divorce decree, uh, the, the plan we had, our parenting plan, uh, we both had equal say, 50-50. Mm-hmm. Physical joint custody mm-hmm. where there was like, um, you know, the only time that if there was a medical emergency, she, you know, we each could do whatever we yeah. wanted. But yeah. when it came to making major decisions for our kid, it was 50. It was, yeah, it was 50 and- 50. It wasn't, she had sole custody. It was nothing like that. No. I would never, I would never have given up custody for my child ever to anybody. Mm-hmm. So that, but you have a step parent sometimes who thinks that they do sometimes cross the bounds there. Every step. You know, now yeah. not all, but some yeah. do. And I, and I was like, back the train up, dude. You know, you're not, mm-hmm. you're not the kid's, mm-hmm. you know, dad. So what do you think? What would you, I think, I think she's kind of blown this out of proportion a little bit. I, I do think so. Um, you know, you can have a pendant made as well. Of course you, you can. You know what I mean? With you and your son. And it says so. the other woman is good. Well, yeah. That I mean, tells me everything I, I need yeah, to know. I don't think, I don't, you know. I, I think it's great having two moms. You know what I'm saying? It's great having two moms. Take it from a guy who has a real mom and a foster mom. And I had an adopted mom, but foster mom is the greatest mom I ever had. So um, there you go. The other woman is good. I think that that's, that's yeah, okay. But like you, I think she's, you know, fearful that yeah. stepmom is going to overtake. Yeah, exactly. But there is only one real mom. There is and only. That's you. Yeah. And, and I think that there's bigger fish Valerie. to fry. Bigger fish to fry. And then when there does come a point where you need to step in and say, I am the mom, then those the, wait, wait till those real situations happen. Yeah, it's not like she's making decisions. Right, right, exactly. And she's proud. She loves her pendant. So why would you, you know, you know, I don't know. Why would you want to ruin that, I guess, if that makes sense. So what do you guys think? This is a tough one today. It is tough, though, because I get it. You are the mom. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and like you said, it's a very real fear. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, five four seven K O R D app chat us, and I will. I don't. I I will wrap up the break. Um, I, it never happened. I I would as a dad. I would have struggled if my son would have called Marty dad. Yeah, I know. It didn't. Have, well, not even. I know. In his face. Yeah. I didn't. Trust me. It <laughs> didn't happen. But I think I would have been very hurt. Now my son was again older, but sure. that would have hurt me a little bit. I'm not going to tell a lie on the radio. And say, I know that would have, that would have crushed me. So five four seven K O R D app chat us. What would you do in the situation? We want to know. You got Rick and Patty K O R D. The Cord Morning Show with Rick and Patty back with more next on number one for New Country one zero two seven K O R D K O R D seven twenty seven. You got Rick. You got Patty. 65 degrees, and I know we want to send you off to the Central Washington State Fair, don't we, Patty? Well, yep, we have a four-pack to the Central Washington State Fair. This is for gate admission, and it goes on Friday, September 20th through Sunday, September 29th. You want to go to the fair? We need color number seven. Ah, oh, there you go. 547-KORD, 547-KORD, 547-5673. Caller seven. Going to send you on to the Central Washington State Fair. Did you say you're doing a family four-pack today? It's a four-pack. I love Not it. Not just a pair of tickets. I know. We want to send the whole family. It's a four-pack right now. Good luck from 1027-KORD. You're listening to Rick and Patty in the morning A number one for new country. 1027-KORD. Hey there. I'm Dave, the official hype man for the cash cow. She wants me to tell you that you can win cash up to $30,000 starting Monday. Get more info on our app. Love you, miss it, mean it.
hit number one for New Country. It's 1027 KORD at 740. You got Rick, you got Patty. Always good to be with you right now. About 65 degrees for you. All righty. I was just trying to think of... What's uh, up? <laughs> All righty. All righty. So there's this new photo that's circulating. TMZ, of course. Thank you, TMZ, as always. What's and, the photo? And normally I don't care about the Kardashians. I don't. But apparently TMZ has this Orlando Bloom photo where he was caught staring at Kim Kardashian's famous backside at a recent event in New York City. The actor was along alongside his fiance Katy Perry while she was wearing a flashy dress. In the photo, Orlando's eyes are down on to, Kim's booty. On her booty. On her booty. So, uh, have you ever caught Jeff checking out anybody ever? No. Okay. Um, oh, well, I'm sure I have. Uh, yeah, I guess I have. Yeah. But I. Yeah. But uh, okay. So what? I mean. Well, yeah. I mean, you don't want. I mean, you don't want to get caught on camera doing this. <laughs> uh, uh, eyes up here, Jeff. I'm not gonna, uh, Stop looking at that. I, you know, I am not, I mean, I am not, again, I'm not going to tell a lie. If I see a cute hiney, I see it. But I do whatever I can to make sure that I'm not staring at it at a prolonged time where someone looks at me and goes, you know, stare, stare, what is that? What is that? Take a picture, you know, yeah. like, take a yeah, picture. Take a last, picture, it might last longer. Might last longer. Yeah. So, so um. I, I am not going to sit here and t- tell, if I see an attractive person, I notice that, oh, they're an attractive person. I mean, you know, but. Wouldn't you say the Kardashians are stunning women? I mean. I, I don't know. I, I like them lately, but I, so in, in my <laughs> taste, when you're talking about the Kardashians, yeah. for me, I mm-hmm. know Chloe is my girl. So if you're talking about the Kardashians, I know. Look at you, because people would consider her to be the least attractive of them. One year, I like Chloe. <laughs> one, but... year, one year, when I was working for another radio station, we dressed up as the Kardashians. Oh, did you? I was Kim. Yes. Okay. And my my male counterpart was Chloe. Chloe. Okay. And uh, our producer <laughs> Ashley was Courtney. Courtney. All right. Yeah. So yeah. So so <laughs> my selection of the Kardashian girl is probably is not going to be the, the the popular choice. But uh, that's pretty much my personality. Everybody's different, you know. So would you be mad if you caught Jeff eyeballing someone else while he's with you, though? <laughs> I would probably say yes. I I would get a little. Hey, would you would you what nudge you, him? What are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> But you know you can't. I can't. You can't blame people. Uh, I, you know. You know, Megan, my right wife. Is I, the, I'm, again, I can't tell a lie. Megan, my wife, she's had friends that have been attractive. Now, do one, you stare n- at them? No. One oh. thing I don't do is I don't tell my wife which one of her friends I think are attractive. Uh, right? Oh, no, absolutely the, not. <laughs> so I'm uh, not. If you know I'm what's not, good for you, Rick. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid, but uh, I'm not going to sit and say that I that I haven't come across a couple of her friends. Oh, they're they're, they're cute or they're attractive. But uh, I sure in the heck did not keep my eyeballs on them for any long period of time. <laughs> yeah, if you know what's you know? good for you. But but I'm not. But I'm also not going to say I didn't take a glance mm. at them either as they were walking away. I'm not going to sit there and say I didn't because I am a I am a male, <laughs> the male species. So we'll do some calls. Five four seven K O R D. Would you be mad if you cut your partner eyeballing someone else? You said you would be. I have. So, all yeah. right. All right. I have. And we'll have some fun. We take some calls. I'm sure we got some good stories. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't said. Hey, took a picture might last longer, Jeff. <laughs> Well, you've got pictures of Jeff like hanging out with Hooters girls and different things like that, or the uh, the Las Vegas or. Shows I of- always take photos of him whenever yes. we go to the Renaissance Fair. Because he's like, oh, let me go. Oh, yeah, the winches, <laughs> the winches. Yes. Got to get a picture yes. with the winches, of course. How can you not want the winches? So five four seven KYD. We'll take some calls. Take your stories next. <laughs> you got Rick and Patty. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord Mobile app and send us an app chat message, or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027 KORD. One for new country, it's 1027 KORD. It's Rick and Patty, 65 degrees, part of the cloudy skies for you. So TMZ reporting Orlando Bloom was caught checking out Kim Kardashian's backside and uh, Katy Perry course was oblivious to it um dudes are gonna check dudes are gonna check people out and and you know what women are gonna check dudes out let's just put that into perspective out there come on it's been a long time since i've seen like a a really really good looking guy where i'm like wow but you have oh man yes yes i mean i i on both sides you know i'm saying to me george clooney is a good looking guy i i mean oh yeah no yeah i see him and go that's a good looking guy, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. I don't go that way, but that's yeah. a good looking guy, uh-huh. you know. And so, so I have to assume women, uh, uh, you know. My Ugh. wife, my wife tells me all the time when she comes back from gym, oh, geez, there's a new guy that's, you know, 
Wow. And I'm like, yeah, really, yeah, really good to hear that. <laughs> so I'm looking at the photo of Orlando Bloom, yeah. and yeah. he's clearly. Yeah, he's looking down. Well, he's looking I, down. Okay, I get it. I would, too. I, if, if I was next to somebody that, you know, had a nice hiney, I'd be looking down, too. <laughs> so 547-KORD. Um, Because usually when you're a man, you go one of two ways. You're either a breast guy or you're, you know, you're a buttocks guy, you know. So um, and so luckily, I as I always make the joke is uh, my preference is the one that they don't see me looking at them. So (laughs) (laughs) the one you don't get caught. The one you don't get caught. That's right. Exactly. So we take you to calls 547 KORD. Uh, Have you ever caught your partner eyeballing somebody else? And how has this happened? And did you, what was their? What'd you do? Yeah, what'd you How'd do? How'd you confront yeah, it? What was their excuse? Good morning, KORD. I think that it's definitely situational. Say they're just looking at them. It's one thing for them to pull and check them out. I think that I would be upset. But if yeah. they're just literally looking at them, I would have no problem with that because it's inevitable. We look at different people every day. Yeah. But if he's checking them out, definitely. All right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Checking them out. Yeah. It depends on how long how long that look is. 547-K-O-R-D. Well, you say, you say your guy uh, pants like a dog. Yes. What? Well, I look at it this way. I had a boyfriend years ago, and he would see some knockout girl, dr- drop dead gorgeous, whatever. Mm. He would start panting really loud. <laughs> yeah, no. And I asked, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. And then I, you know, of course, knew it was that girl. Then he started kind of inching away from me. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. Well, I said, go, jerk. You know, well, he ended up over there talking to her and I went home alone. What? (laughs) And I did not see this person anymore, of course, after that. But I don't mind it now. I have a husband that he will, he will not look, he'll, he'll look, but he doesn't make a big deal out of it. He'll, he'll see nudity on TV and he'll turn the channel. You know, he's just so different than what I was used to. Yeah. I think if they don't act like an idiot and don't start panning like a dog and drooling, then it's it's okay, you know. There you go. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, well, that I mean, guy's a pig. Well, that guy's a yeah, pig. And that's embarrassing. Yeah, that's like, embarrassing. Uh, time like, to go. I mean, and, cut him loose. And if you're See dating, you and if and if you're dating someone like no, that now, ladies, better. get get out of that because yeah. that that's a mess. I mean, again, well, like we like the one gal, the earlier caller said, we all we all look. You know, an attract. You know, we all see it. I know, know, but whether you act on it or how you, you you know, I mean, don't say a word. I don't. I do not. If I see somebody, some guys do. and you're like, really? Did you just say that? Exactly. No. No. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You just. you, You just. We hear you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Stop dragging the knuckles. Yeah. You Neanderthal. You know. It's like yes, acknowledge attractive woman or male, but you don't have to say anything about it. So 547-KORD, what do you think? More of your calls on the way. You got Rick and Patty. You're waking up with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027-KORD. Hey there, I'm Dave, the official hype man for the cash cow. She wants me to tell you that you can win cash up to $30,000 starting Monday. Get more info on our app. 27 KORD, 10 minutes after 8 o'clock. You got Rick, you got Patty, always good to be with you. Right now about 65 degrees for you. Well, if you didn't know this, Patty, hunting season is around the corner. It kicks off uh, October 12th. For black-tailed deer and white-tailed deer and also mule deer, um, I did post an article just now on the KORD mobile app that they're finding warts, like big giant. Oh, those w- big, the, the, those it, it the look, big bumps on them. I saw that. It looks like it looks like The Walking Dead when you see it. Yeah, but like, you know what? It, it thank goodness it doesn't have anything to do with it that does disease. Not. It does not. And so yes, the uh, why. Uh, we're here, we're, <laughs> we're, I don't know what that is. We're hearing a little static through the airwaves, but uh, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife um, has said that, yeah, when you're thinking it's that chronic walking disease, that is not what that is when you see the deer with the, the warts. But man, when you see some of these photos, you're like, I know. That, that I've looks- only seen one. Yeah. It's gruesome looking when he's, you know, I, I pulled a video for you. It's all posted in there and it's up there on uh, the KORD app. And when I, I started posting photos of that, um, even growing up on the Grand Ron River, yeah. I, I have never seen this. Uh, even the deer, because my, uh, my family used to hunt for deer and I, we, you know, we'd, we'd pack them, we'd pack, we'd pack them out. I never saw any deer that looked like these deer with these big giant warts on it. But 
It does exist. It's just not C uh, C W uh, C W D as the the walking the chronic walking mm-hmm. dead one. But uh, that's posted for if you want to check it out right there. And then Patty's excited because the sausage fest is around the corner. Uh, yeah, it's coming up on the twentieth and the twenty first, and it's Christ the King. It's their annual fundraiser. Did you know that this is like the third largest event in Tri Cities? It's it's fun. It's an it's an amazing time. It's so fun. yeah, it's going to go on Friday the twentieth and Saturday the twenty first. And free admission. Love that family. Free Friendly games. This reminds me of kids. Uh, you used to have the school carnivals when you were a kid. It's and you, pretty much. It's, it's a huge yeah, carnival. It is. And, and yeah. if you're not, if you know what, just I know it's called Sausage Fest. They've got hamburgers yeah. and fries. They got and, everything. Uh, yes, they got everything. So get more details about that posted now for you right there on the KORD mobile app. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show, number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. Hey there, I'm Dave, the official hype man for the cash cow. She wants me to tell you that you can win cash up to $30,000 starting Monday. Get more info on our app. Horn Rapids RV Sales and Service. Uh, What's going on with Valerie here in West Richland? I have a six-year-old son, and I am not with his dad anymore. The father is engaged to be remarried, however. My son will still live with me, and we still have a good relationship, but he will be spending time with them and I just discovered that he bought one of those motherhood pendants as an engagement gift for his fiance. So it's got her photo on one side, my son's on the other, and she's showing it off on Instagram as if she's the child's mom. That's my son, not hers. Father told me, relax, we just want to show him that she loves him and she sees him as part of her family. We want him to feel like she has, or that he has two mothers. Well, that doesn't work with me. Oh. Yes, the other woman is good with my son, but wearing a motherhood pendant and positioning uh, as a second mother, that's overstepping her bounds, right? Valerie in West Richland. Oh, boy. Open up the can of worms. Lots of people talking about it on Facebook. What are they saying, Patty? Uh, Mary says, no, it's not. She'll never replace you, but she will be a stepmom. He needs to be given the choice on whether he's comfortable to call her mom or not and needs to be free to express his feelings. If you really do have a good relationship with your ex, respect that he isn't trying to replace you and that uh, it's a good thing that he has two amazing women in his life. Feel your feelings, but don't take it out on your son and his stepmom. Mariah says your feelings are your feelings are valid, but it's about your son more. If she loves him as her own, that's a good thing. My daughter calls her stepdad dad. She calls her stepmom mom, but it was on her terms. We, her father and I, didn't force her to call either of them that, and she did it on her own, and that was for Mariah. Jason says, call, uh, being upset because your six year uh, your six year old likes her, you should be just grateful that he likes her because it could be a lot worse if he didn't like her and uh, only would cause you problems between you and your ex, and that could also cause problems for uh, your child and his dad as well. Uh, Marie has this long statement. So this is coming from a child of divorce. It depends. Growing up, my, uh, my my father's new woman never tried to be our mom, but let us know that she was there for us. There was still some hard feelings, but looking back, I appreciate how she handled the situation. We were never forced to call her anything but her name and never have because we knew the line. However, my mother is also a child of divorce and occasionally called her stepdad, dad, as well as by his name. It's all in the relationship that they foster between themselves and it will change and evolve as years pass. As long as she's not saying, this is my son, which is the closest to her, which would know that's just not the case. And that is for Marie. Melissa says, calm down. Be happy that this his new wa- his new wife sees him like he is hers. The boy is going to have the best of both worlds. He's got two women who see him as their kid and will love him unconditionally. I've been on both sides of this. I've been the stepmom and the mom who has to deal with the stepmom. I still claim them all as my kids. Be happy that she loves them and treats them like her own. Derek says, it's not about you, lady. Also, Lori says, hugs. But in the end, he'll benefit from both of you loving him. It's very hard times, but take the high road on this. And that's from Lori. Linda says, sure, it's hard for you, but be grateful that she's wanting to be a part of your child's life and treats him as her own and is good with him. You know, your son uh, knows you as well as the dad uh, is soon and soon to be stepmom. Uh, is your only bio? You are the only biological mom. Be grateful. Could be a whole different scenario. Uh, did you do Yvette? Speaking of no. uh, speaking as the woman whose stepson's mother loathed for her son calling her mom. Relax. You're going to do more harm than good by holding on so tightly. Relax.
respects your grip, the boy knows you as mama. That's enough. Uh, Danielle says, if your son loves her and she's good with him, be thankful. Yep. Better for her to be a mother figure than to be uh, his best friend. Absolutely. So a lot of people are saying, yeah, it's not. About, it's about him, not about you. And uh, you got to let the, you got to see how the, where it goes if that makes sense. You know? um, did you check out Stephanie? What's Stephanie? Say? I'd be mad as well. Not sure I have any sound advice, but just wanted to share that you're not alone in feeling that way. Well, we've, we've talked about right. it. Right. I mean, I get it. We've talked about it on this show a lot about my son Logan and my, you know, and his stepdad and all that. And I did. I had all of those fears. Like, what if he calls him dad? What if he takes my place? I had all those fears. And my kid was 12 years old. He knew who his yes. dad was. Yes. So I couldn't imagine no. having a four-year-old no. or a three-year-old or a five-year-old who's just learning relationships in their own lives. Um but again, I do go back to take the high road. I'm always I'm a well, high, that's exactly right. high road person. Yeah. So that's what Lori says. Hugs, but in the end, he'll benefit from both of you loving him. And, it's very hard at times, but take the high road on this. And in the end, they will yep. define their own relationship. Well, and you're the biological mom. Yeah, you're the mama. You, you are the you mom. You just are the mom. You are the mom. There's no doubt about okay. it. So did our best to solve it for you. What do you guys think? 547-KORD. App chat us what you would do in the situation. We want to know. You got Rick and Patty. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show, number one for new country, 1027 KORD.